Brave and the Bold, Batman and Wonder Woman number two, uh, Liam Sharp both writing and art. Uh, and yeah, so the king's been murdered in Tirnagog, and th- I think I'll, I'll critique, well not a critique, but just the, the downside to this issue is that we all know that this is going to lead to Wonder Woman saying, hey, I'm going to bring in the detective who's Batman. Uh, no, that's fair, because, you know, out of a six-issue series, and it takes till the end of issue two to get to that, there is a, yeah. an argument that, that that is maybe too long. Yeah, that maybe this shouldn't have been six issues, maybe it should have been one one or two less, if that's, if, you know, and condense this down, but hey, um, obviously it looks fantastic again, and uh, I, I enjoy quite a bit, this is the other one that I left till last, because I knew it was going to be a bit of a chore to read, this, this took me twice as long as any other book to read this this week, because I do find some of the Celtic words to be a pain. Uh, the font as well, with a lot of these Celtic characters, also I also find to be a pain. Um, I, did, I didn't have a problem personally, but... And it's a me thing. It's the same. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoy Aaron Storr, but I do, the, the font on his text is a bit annoying for me. Uh, okay. uh, and this is kind of the same thing. It's even, even more extreme here, though. Um, but... Yeah, so so Batman deals with the fact that he was frozen in that in the you know the the Irish sector, a town, and he's kind of talked through it by Alfred, who can still talk to him over the comms and kind of gets him out of like dodge, uh, and he comes back. He's like, "This was magic, Alfred. I, I don't know what's going on, but this was magic. It's unmistakable." Uh, I, I I do appreciate that because that kind of plays off the detective stuff that we had, mm. you know, where he's like, "Alfred, have you ever felt magic?" And Alfred's like, "No, not like not myself." It was, it was like. Right, oh, well, that's the thing. You, you can't mistake it. Or once you feel it, you know how it feels, and that's it. Yeah, and I like that Batman's kind of like a like he's just he's instantly like repelled by it because he he hates dealing with it because he he's a man of logic, he's a man of science and detective. And yeah, he knows the problems that come with magic. Yeah, so I I like that. Um, and maybe I wonder women's just kind of try to like stop the armies and tear Nagog from fighting because like you know they all suspect that this Nog. Tear Nog. Nog. Yeah. No, Nog. Okay, sure. See, hence why I don't like these Celtic words. I I, I struggle to remember them. Clearly, because a lot of them are. Here's my problem with a lot of them: is that I feel like with most other languages, I'm okay reading them because even if I have trouble saying them out loud in some cases, I understand the concept of the word and what it's supposed to sound like, right? Whereas with the Celtic words, there's times where I have to stop and think about how I just say it in my head so I can read it. Oh yeah, okay. And that slows me right down. Uh, so. But hey, uh, so so I wonder if we try to stop them from like going to war. Over yeah, because the... we got the the Fomori and the and the Dinan Didanan fighting now at war because the king's dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving you to say the words. Yes, they're 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 going to war, and Wonder Woman basically steps in and like splits them up, and like one of them yeah. is not very happy that she's doing that. Yeah, that's the Fomori, the yeah. demony one. Yeah, how dare you touch me? The other one, we got Finn McCool. Finn McCool, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't expecting him to pop in. Uh, so no, so so it's just doing all that. But that's basically the whole issue. I, I feel like we've described the entire plot. Uh, no, I agree. There's the only other subplot that we haven't talked about is the oh. the old man in Gotham. Yeah, the homeless dude in Gotham. Yeah, yes. who who knows something is connected to all this and is clearly going to line up, link up with some uh, everything else. It wouldn't surprise me if he's somewhere connected to the death of the the, the king. But uh, possibly they talk like because we we do get a little bit where they talk about how they can't access the world. As easily as they used to do, because Tinano is accessed through, you know, they're like, okay, you have to get through these portals, these doorways, and they're not as prevalent. As yeah, because it, it sounds like if he is a Celtic figure, he kind of lost his memory or something because he was trying to get back and he thought it was under Ireland, but it wasn't. Right, it's because yeah. I think so. The idea is that they they assumed it was under Ireland because he he points out it's where three ley lines meet is where the portal is, like the the entrance, mm. and presumably there were places like that in Ireland. Which is why they thought, oh yeah, it's here, we found them, that's why it's under here. But as he points out, you know, as as we've evolved as a civilization, we've built and you know concrete and all these things over these points so that is no longer accessible. So presumably all the ones in Ireland have been covered up. So he's happened to have found this spot in Gotham that, that has these these properties that he needs. Yeah. <laughs> um I mean, I'm enjoying it. I don't love it. It's kind of like I think. I think as I feel like a bit, it's a bit of a, a task to read it. You know, I, I I I'm not excited about it because I know it's going to be a bit more of a task to read. Um, I don't want to use the word chore. I wouldn't say I wouldn't go as far as say chore, but it's yeah, yeah. it's definitely in a weird place for me where I, I'm genuinely liking what the story's doing. I like the art a lot, obviously. Uh, it's gorgeous, yeah. Especially when Batman was kind of like you know 
not quite hallucinating, but some of the pages when he was like stumbling through the crowds of it was a bit twisted, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, everyone standing still. I like that stuff quite a bit. Um, so that's all looking good. Uh, obviously, it ends with Wonder Woman actually showing up in the back cave to say, "Hey, Bruce, I need your help. Yeah. You're, you're a detective." Uh, and yeah, so I, I, I do love you know Batman's face when he says magic. It almost it's almost like he's spitting it out. Yeah. The magic. It's kind. Of, it's kind of like me when I see, I see uh, like Game of Thrones or or, or just magic. Lord of the Rings. Or just magic. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Batman. Yeah. <laughs> not 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 a lot to compare between us, but yeah, the test of magic. Yeah. Yeah. You do have that, don't you? Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, but hey, uh, so that so, 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 I thought it was a fine issue, uh, but maybe just a touch uh, decompressed. And uh, I, that's fair. I don't mind decompressed, but I think there's like decompressed where I like the style of decompressed. Whereas here, I just kind of felt like, you know, I think you you feel it now monthly. I think it'll be fine, collected. Yeah, because I, I think the stuff that drug the, dragged the issue down was probably the the stuff actually in the Nog with the uh, Wonder Woman like talking them down because there was, was a lot of debating back and forth, and it was ultimately all the same thing of oh we want to kill this kid because we just believe it's him, and they were like no it's not us and we we are supposed to stay here and. You know. I, I really liked her showing them the, the lasso and, and kind of going through that stuff with her and, and you know it's the mm. clash of cultures between her her gods and these ones. Yeah, that holds no weight here. Yeah. And so, all I could think was nothing to us. Yeah, all I could think was well, okay, put it in him and make him admit to something stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I think that was the the temptation was probably there, but mm. there I don't think he'd react too well to that. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's very pretty, uh, and I think the stories. Is serviceable to solid, but not necessarily, you know, main. I'm intrigued to for it to get into the actual detective. Oh yeah, well, stuff. once Batman's actually investigating this, and he's like trying to put up with all these these weirdos, then yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, that, that should because Wonder Woman's kind of at home in this stuff. It's 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 different to her, but she's kind yeah. of okay. I get it. Batman's out of his element. <laughs> 